Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan Arnold. I graduated from Davidson College in 2006. Had the privilege of play for Coach Merritt uh, my senior year for his first season. Uh, welcome to the first installment of the Davidson Football Coaches Sports Show. Uh, you're going to hear me every Saturday at the game. I'm going to be on WHIP The Whip out of Mooresville, 1350 AM for Davidson Football Radio. We're real excited about the season. This is game week. I wanted to spend a little time with Coach Merritt today. Uh, Coach, thank you for being here. Absolutely. Uh, this is game week, so talk to us a little bit about camp. You've been in camp now for how many weeks? About two and a half weeks, and, um, you know, it was, I don't want to say good because what coach in America is going to say is sure. bad. I think we had some objectives going in. It was conditioning. It was to play the next play. It was to play with maximum sustained effort between the whistles. And that's those are the things we talked about as coaches. I think we got a lot of that accomplished. That's great. Now, you had spoke last night. We did a little get-together, a little social hour in Charlotte, and you had told – some of the alumni at that time, uh, a little bit about these three days that y'all were doing. Can, yeah. you, can you expand on that a little well, bit? Well, we, we went out earlier in the morning. You only get five hours that you can put sure. put on the field. So we went out early in the morning, did about an hour and a half. It was in full gear, a little a little more banging. Came out in the afternoon and just helmet and shoulder pads, a little less banging. And the, after, the evening session was special teams, um, you know, trying to fine tune that, walk and talk a little bit, and uh, slow it down. So it, it, I think it worked really well. Great, great. Let's take even a step back. Talk to us a little bit about the off season. I know Coach Rowan had those guys up really early in the morning in the spring, the spring game. Anything that uh, you'd like to talk about that? I think we had a great off season. And I, and I told the guys Sunday, I said, the last seven months, the work that you put in right now, this is what it's all about. Um, half of January, most of all of February, we were up three, time, three times a week sure. at 6 a.m. out on the turf in the cold and the rain and the sleet. Uh, we'd spend about uh, 30, 45 minutes outside running, doing agilities, and then we'd go in and, and live for a half hour. You know, you had spoke a little bit about the offense. This is an exciting year. This is going to be the second year, if I'm not mistaken, of the air raid offense. Uh, are the guys feeling more comfortable with the offense? I, I think they are. I, I, I see Jonathan's comfort level. Sure. Jonathan Karkov's comfort level is, is, is very high right now. Sure. And he's got to be our general on the field. And watching him in the spring and, and watching him in preseason camp, he's so much further than where he was this time last year. And I'm excited about what he can do for us offensively and, and running this thing. And he's got to be the quarterback or the coordinator on the field. He's going to sure. do a lot of he's going he's going to call a lot of stuff at the line of scrimmage based on what the defense is giving us or, or taking away from us. So he's uh, his comfort level is very high. And I think as a whole, our receiving core understands what's what, what Coach Henderson wants and needs um, from that standpoint. And uh, I'm excited to see what we can do. I, I, I think the last two games of last year, uh, we glimpsed. The potential sure. of what we can do, and I think this this season will be very exciting. Now, I read that that Coach Mummy uh, he he likes to cycle in up to fifteen receivers in a game. Yeah, Is that correct? yeah. I mean, we're going to travel with a bunch uh, once we get into the conference play, and uh, we'll we'll use 14, 15 receivers a game. That that includes our wise, sure, um, who are quasi tight ends in our offense. Sure, sure. Let's talk about uh, Cam. Any surprises? I know you had a huge freshman class coming. How many folks in that class? 31. 31 which, guys coming in. Which I think is, a, is a, as a staff, I think we uh, feel like it's our best uh, class that I put together sure. since I've been here. And Coach Hayford and Coach Gundaniel sure. been with me the, the entire time, and I, th I think they would concur. You're going to see some guys that uh, have already emerged into the 2D. Two, the uh, one, one freshman will start for us really? uh, Saturday night. And I don't want to say who yet, but um, he's ready to go. He's been a very pleasant surprise for us so far in camp. Defensively, Matt Williams from Panther Creek near Raleigh has been a, a, a pleasant surprise. Chris Woods uh, from Burlington Cummings has, 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 has had a great camp. He's got a bright future for us. Coach Hayford is excited about his D-line, freshman sure. D-line class. And we got four guys with Jackson Gomez, Andrew Hart, Will Flood, and Shane Burns. I mean, those are, those are uh, four guys that you, you may see before this year's over with. Uh, so we're excited about that. And, and then we've got a couple receivers, St. Bob and Carter and Desi Dockery. And, Will Morris, you're going to see Saturday night. Sure. He, you know, we're, we're really excited about our freshman class. Great. We're really excited. That's all. Uh, you would spoke a little bit last night when, when you were talking to the Gridiron Club and down in Charlotte there, you had spoke about the defense. And, and one of the questions that they asked was, was, was a gentleman asked, you know, hey, you know, running the air raid is going to put certain pressure, certain stresses on the defense. The, the defense, and you had mentioned – some of the things that y'all have been doing as it pertains to conditioning throughout camp. Well, we, we have what we call Packer Days. Yeah. Uh, Coach Gundano, Coach Schaefer sat down and they came up with just a, just a, a workout, a routine that uh, consisted of a, a ton of up-downs and 
crunches, and then you segment into a series of sprints, 40 yard dashes, sure. and you go back to the up downs and crunches, and then you go back to the 40s, and you go back to the up downs, and you go back to the full way. So it, it was it was pretty intense because honestly, I, I, you know, our, our offensive skill people, all they do is run all practice. Sure, that's all they do, and so we don't we don't condition them. I felt we felt like as a defensive staff that going into last year's Georgetown game, we weren't in great shape. Yeah. We weren't where we should have been, and I think it showed on the field. So uh, as a head coach, I made sure I, we eliminated that problem this year. Sure. Uh, and I, I think we're in phenomenal shape. We we started to pull back last Thursday, last Friday. Yeah. Um, so, you know, with, with the offense, you do a lot of running around against them in camp and spring ball. Uh, but we just we, – we've got to get our defense – Kids sure. up to par, up to speed with our offensive kids. What should we expect from the defense? Uh, you know, first off, going into this week, but in general, what, what would you think? Well, I think we're we're solid. Sure. We've always been solid. I think Coach uh, Coach Gundangle does a great job. Sure, and he has our defenses. He's always had our defenses well prepared every game uh, in terms of what we're going to see and the adjustments we're going to make and the checks we're going to make in the line of scrimmage. So I think you're going to see a solid defense. I'm excited about our secondary. I got two starting corners coming back. You got Bryant Bednarik, who started some last year, uh, last couple games. He was injured about midpoint. He, he, you know, he missed a few games. And Pete Anderson and Dan, Dan Casey. I think we have a solid group that has played a lot of football. Yeah. Uh, you got Patrick Moynihan at linebacker, and uh, Patrick is is he's a guy that has a motor like I've never coached. I've sure. coached a lot of linebackers, and he's got a motor that won't stop. Ben Prater, his cohort inside, I think. Uh, ben could be one of the best linebackers we've had at Davidson. Right. Uh, I think right now the guys that aren't battle tested are going to be AJ Pignon at our Sam, our outside linebacker, and Jelani Dolan. And Jelani's played a lot of football. He's been on a lot of special teams. He's been a solid backup for a couple of years. It's his time now. And so Saturday night, I, you know, I, I got great expectations sure. for him. D line, D defensive line, excuse me, we're as deep as we've ever been up front. And you, you take that influx of freshmen, uh, we're we're pretty solid there right Great. now. You know, we're not as big as maybe some of our opponents. Sure, uh, We're certainly not going to be as big as Georgetown's offensive line Saturday night. But um, we've got some guys that will fight you. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm, I'm expecting great effort from them. Well, I Coach, think. I think I can uh, echo a lot of folks, hopefully, are watching and former football players, former Wildcats, when uh, we can all say we're really excited for this Georgetown game, this first game of the year. Georgetown, there's a lot of history there between Davidson and Georgetown. So... What do, we, what do you expect? What, do we, what have you been coaching up on uh, Well, you know, Jay, Coach Kelly's done such a phenomenal job sure. turning that, that program around. And then they're one game away from the from the playoffs last year um, and finished second in the conference. I have a lot of admiration for what he's done there. But, you know, just being in an academic environment, too. And, sure, sure. Uh, the challenges you, that you have there sometime, I, you know, I really appreciate uh, what he's done. I, I think they're a physical football team. I think last year they probably were the most physical sure. football team that we played on our schedule last year. So it's going to be a challenge for us. They've got a, a phenomenal tight end, a quarterback who's got experience. They've got the majority of their offensive line coming back. They've got a preseason uh, uh, defensive player of the year at linebacker, and they've got a, uh, a pretty good corners, a couple pretty good, not, not pretty good, real good corners that, uh, that we're going to see that is, you know, going to present problems for us. Coach, uh... Anything else? I know you're excited. This is the first week. We've got a couple more practices where we're sitting at Tuesday. Uh, what's going on for the rest of the week? Well, you know, we ch we spent a good portion of last week on Georgetown. And with sure. classes starting on Monday, um, I, I told them on Sunday, I told the coaches, I said, by the time we get to Sunday, I want you know, the hay to be in the barn. Sure. For the most part. Now, we gotta we got to fine-tune some things. we got to sharpen up. we gotta, we got to play fast this week. Um, but I want to make sure that we're fresh for Saturday and that we've got our legs back when we wake up Saturday morning ready to go. So we're going to cut practice just a little bit, not too much. Um, we might do a little bit of a little bit of banging today, but not not a whole lot, and then we're going to scale back the rest of the week. Coach, we really appreciate it. Is there anything else that you want to say there to the uh, football contingency? Well, I, I think it's going to be uh, – Saturday night's going to be a wonderful event. I think we have a chance to have a great crowd with a like-minded school uh, coming to town that has a national reputation. Um, it's going to be a challenge for us, but we've worked extremely hard the last seven months. And this is this is why you sign up to play. Yeah. I mean, Saturday night, six o'clock. Why you sign up to play? And uh, it's here. It's here. Well, thank you very much. I uh, I'm getting a little bit excited just thinking about it myself. You know, I wish we, I, we all say we wish we could strap up one more time. Yeah. No. And this week will be a blur. I mean, it'll go by fast. Sure. It'll go by in a hurry. And I told the staff that on, on Sunday. I said uh, it'll be here before we know it. Good. Well, we appreciate. It. We hope all all the Gridiron Club members, all the fans of Davidson football, come out on Saturday to support Coach Merritt. 
It will be on the radio, 1350 AM, the whip. You can also get to that by visiting DavidsonWildcats.com. There's going to be a link up there as well. Go Cats. Coach, anything else? That's it. Thank you very much. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thank you.